hello guys welcome to the another video in this video i'm going to talk about as you can see in the title is about the b1 english language test and my experience and what is in inside the test when you're going to go for the test so if you want to apply for british nationality or a lot of people apply for the private hire license as well so you need b1 english language test this is 10 minutes test is not hard a lot of people uh, worried about what is inside the test but this if you can speak little english is going to be okay for you trust me i know a lot of people they just speak very little english they they just got their b1 certificate so first thing how you can apply it a lot of people do from the trinity college and other people do from the pri private college as well so my advice you should do from the trinity college because um, the home office and the tfl if you want to apply for taxi, they accept this uh, B1 test from the uh, Trinity College. Okay, so first definitely you need to book it. So when you book it, they will give you the date and they will send you email and there is going to be a lot of materials. So read that email and uh, you can prepare it. So I'm going to talk about what is uh, uh, is inside the test. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you the form. So it's going to be it's going to be 10 minutes test and uh, it's going to be uh, two sections. The first is going to be about your topic means you have to choose any topic and you have to make a section means five questions on that topic and the examiner is going to be asked the question from your topic for five minutes. I'm going to show you how this form is look like. So I'm going to show from my laptop if you can see clearly. So you can see this is uh, the form. So here you have uh, to write your subject means which topic, which one you're going to speak. And you're going to write it down. Uh, you're going to break it down in five. It means you can ask, you, you can make the questions. I'm going to show you the example, what it is going to look like. Then it's going to be very good for you because the exam when you're gonna because you're gonna give this to the examiner and the examiner is going to be asked up the question where you're gonna write it down in the box. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. I'm gonna give you the example. Yeah, so this is the sample. So I'm gonna see speak about this. If you look at that, I'm gonna see from my mobile. Yeah, so this is someone write the title is my career. I mean, this is a topic. Someone want to talk about my career. Then he, he wrote, he wrote five step. So the first one is what I have achieved in my career so far. So it's about the career. So the examiner can ask any question. So what is, what are you doing nowadays? And what is, why are you doing this? Do you like doing this job? And uh, let's say what I plan to do in the future what I was doing before I start working in this job means uh, you can choose there's a I can say that thousand more than thousand topics in the world in your life mean you can talk about your country you can talk about favorite city you can talk about anything okay so this section is going to be done in five minutes don't worry about that it's going to be very easy I'll give you the exact to remember the questions just uh, um, make your uh, topic and the examiner is going to be asked a very easy question. It's not going to be hard. It's very easy. Means if you choose your city, favorite city, he's asking about why do you like your this city, and what is uh, the most beautiful things in that city. It means it's going to be a very simple question. It's not going to be hard because this is ten minutes test, and they know you are just is a basic English. Okay, so the second step is going to be the examiner. They have a five topic. I'm going to talk about this one. Okay, so in this meantime, you must ask one question about your topic to the examiner. And then if your topic is um, career, you should ask one question. So you can make a note, you can get prepared before, and because you're going to make it the note of your the topic. Okay, so the second one, the examiner will ask now, um, we're going to uh, speak about these five things. So it's going to be five things. So sorry, six things six topic like a festivals means of transport special occasions for example birthday celebrations entertainments for example cinema or television music and recent personal experience so sorry i'm going to show you this as well let me make a note on that 
is this topic if you can see on my laptop so this topic so the examiner will choose two topics like if you want to choose festival so he's going to ask about he's going to ask very simple question trust me he's going to ask about uh, uh, if means if you belong to a country because you're doing a b1 english because you must be coming from the other country then he's asking about your uh, country uh, festival and he said do you do you celebrate festival how often is going to be that one and then yeah is is simple he's going to ask two three questions no more than that so then he's going to uh, he can choose any other topic is a means of transport means uh, uh, how do you travel which transport do you like simple it's going to be a very easy question then special equations sometimes they are ask special equations like a birthdays and eid if you have a diwali and uh, other one is going to be entertainment I means it's going to be cinema or televisions I means you use these things in daily your in your daily life and it's very simple and easy sometimes you ask about the music what kind of music do you like and recent personal experience so my experience was that i finished in 10 minutes this is time is test and i got i passed and uh, i did from the trinity college and I got my result after two days because I'm gonna apply for British nationality. So, so don't worry. A lot of people they confuse. I'm uh, uh, telling again. So don't worry. Don't worry about that. B1 English. Just book the test and get prepared. Make a topic. Do not remember any question by heart. Just uh, use your own language. And English means gonna be English language. You can see there's a lot of examples about the uh, the B1. On the YouTube and that how the people they were very difficult to speak English but they pass as well so hope so this video is going to be informative for you guys if you like this video please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much